Welcome to this spoken tutorial on celestial bodies and constellations. In this tutorial, we will learn about celestial bodies, stars and constellations, configure the settings of stars and constellations. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Marble version 1.12.20 and a working internet connection. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, Marble version 2.2.20. To practice this tutorial, learner should be familiar with Marble interface. For the prerequisite Marble tutorials, please visit this site. I have opened the Marble interface in the default Atlas view. Let us zoom out to see the black sky. I will hide overview map, compass and scale bar for clarity. Black colored surface on the interface represents the sky on a clear night. When we rotate the globe, we can see various objects present in the sky. These objects are called celestial bodies. We will now hide all the panels. Go to the settings menu and select panels. From the sub menu select hide all panels. To see more objects in the sky let us keep rotating the globe. Notice that we can see sun, moon, stars and other celestial bodies. Here we can see the countless bright stars in the sky. The nearest star to the earth is the sun. Our best estimates tell us that the Milky Way is made up of approximately 100 billion stars. Let us now configure the settings for stars in the marble interface. Click on the settings menu. Select configure marble virtual globe option. Configure window opens. From the left panel select the plugins tab. Plugins menu opens in the right panel. At the extreme right of the plugins menu we can see a scroll bar. Let us scroll down and locate Stars plugin. Click on the Configure button corresponding to Stars. Configure Stars plugin window opens. This window has two tabs, Celestial Objects and Lines and Orientation. Celestial Objects tab opens by default. In the Celestial Objects tab, we can see different sections. Go to Star Magnitude Limit. Star magnitude limit represents the magnitude of stars seen on the interface. Under star magnitude limit, we can see a slider to change the magnitude. Drag the slider to zero magnitude. Click on the OK button in the window. Click on the OK button in the configure window. Notice that stars have disappeared from the interface. Now we can clearly see the celestial bodies. To open Configure Stars plugin window, right click anywhere on the black sky. A context menu opens. Select Configure option from the menu. In the Configure Stars plugin window, next section is Solar System. This section has checkboxes for Sun, Moon and planets in the Solar System. Let us scroll down to see all the checkboxes. By default, Sun and Moon checkboxes are checked. We will check all the boxes to see the planets in the sky. Observe that we cannot click on Earth checkbox as we are observing from Earth. Next we have two checkboxes, Use Name Labels and Magnify Sun and Moon. By default, these checkboxes are checked. These checkboxes are used to show the names of Sun, Moon and and other planets. Other section represents deep sky objects. For now we will leave them as default. Now click on the OK button in the window. We can see some lines and shapes in the sky. They are constellations. Let us see what are constellations. A constellation is a group of stars which forms an imaginary shape in the night sky. In Latin, stella means a star and constellation means a set of stars. 
Constellations are usually named after mythological characters, people, animals and objects. It is like a game of connecting the dots. The visible night sky is divided into 88 constellations by astronomers, out of which 12 are zodiac signs. For better visibility, I will change the color of the constellations. To open Configure Stars plugin window, right click anywhere on the black sky. Select Configure option from the context menu. Configure Stars plugin window opens. Click on the Lines and Orientation tab. Under Constellations, we can see two checkboxes, Lines and Labels. Click on the button corresponding to Lines. Color window opens. I will select yellow color from the window. Click on the OK button in the window. Next, click on the button corresponding to Labels. From the color window, I will select red color. Click on the OK button in the color window. Below labels, we can see names drop down. In the drop down, Latin name is selected by default. I will leave it as it is. Next is the coordinate grid section. Under the coordinate grid, we can see celestial equator, celestial poles and ecliptic checkboxes. I will leave them as default. Now let us make the stars visible on the interface. Click on the Celestial Objects tab. Under Star Magnitude Limit, drag the slider to 7 magnitude. Now click on the OK button in the window. We can see the changes in the lines and labels of each constellation. Rotate the globe to see the various zodiac signs. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about celestial bodies, stars and constellations, configure the settings of stars and constellations. As an assignment, explore more about coordinate grid option. Hint, use celestial objects tab in stars plugin. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Viji Nair and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.